uh, let me uh, yes outline what's our plan today inshallah what should we do today uh, complete unit 40 yes complete unit 14 40. and we should have uh, only today and our next lesson in your course inshallah so next lesson should be the last lesson in unit 14 if we uh, can't finish it today right so okay. have you got any questions before we start and uh, no okay so what about our lesson last last time sarah what did we study uh start unit 40 uh, yes. listening uh, and listening part uh, five okay listening part five you should listen to different uh, five different books each one of them uh, uh, you should listen carefully and understand the attitude and the opinion for each one okay yes. so today inshallah we should have a, a grammar focus lesson it's really important for you it's called the passive. The passive. Okay. Yes. If I ask you, Sarah, for example, who cleans your car? Who cleans uh, your car? Uh, who cleans? Oh. Someone, uh, I don't uh, you don't know his don't, name. Yes, I don't okay. know. Okay, so you can say, uh, uh, Tom, for example. Yeah, let me say Tom. Tom cleans my car every week. Imagine this is your answer, sir. Tom cleans my car every week. Is it right? Yes. Right. If I ask you again, who cleans your car every week? Tom. Tom, exactly. So now we now Tom is the doer of the action. What is the action here, which is cleaning your car? But I need to change. This is called active. This sentence is called active. Why active, Sarah? Because I know the doer of the action. I know the doer of the action. عارف اسم الشخص اللي عمل الاكتيفيتي. ذلك بنسميها active. Okay. طيب أنا لو قلت يا Sarah, my car is cleaned every week. أنا أتكلم عن نفسي أنا بقول لك my car is cleaned every week. Do you know who cleans my car? No. No. Why? لأن أنا قلت لك my car is cleaned every week. قلت لك سيارتي تنظف أو تغسل every week. Okay. My sentence is passive. Because we don't know the doer of the action. passive. But your sentence is active because you know Tom. Tom cleans your car. But my car, my car is cleaned every week. And I didn't mention the doer of the action. Okay? Is a habit if you need to write the name of the person who does the action. في الحالة هقول لك by 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 let me say Noor for example. Imagine his name is Noor. So my car is cleaned every week by Noor. By Noor. Allah. تقولي لي طيب إيه فائدة البسط لما أنت قلت لي في الآخر بينور خلاص قلت لك مين الشخص اللي بينظف قلت لك بينور إيه فائدة الآيل أكل البسط هنا we use passive يا سارة for confirmation what does mean confirmation يعني التأكيد 
انا حبيت اكد لك ان ماي كار از كليند ايفري ويك ذيس از نمبر 1 يبقى يو سبيسيف فور كونفيرميشن اف يو نيد تو كونفيرم سمثينج يوز ات باسيف فور اكزامبل ا نيو رود از بيلت ان اور سيتي ا نيو رود از بيلت نير ماي هاوس في طريق جديد بيرصف قريب من بيتنا طب ليه انت بتقولي لي الكلام ده to confirm that there, there will be a new road near your house. فرحانة بالموضوع بتقولي لي uh, you confirm you confirm this. Okay. Okay. This is number one. Number two to show that my car cleaning my car is more important than the name of the doer of the action. يعني my car أو cleaning my car بالنسبة لي أنا المستفيد أنا عندي تنظيف السيارة أهم من الشخص اللي بينظف ما يهمنيش اسم الشخص لا اللي يهمني أن سيارتي is clean every week clean yes طيب how to change from active to passive صار how to change إحنا خلاص عرفنا أن active إيه الفرق بين الاكتف والباسف طيب how to change how to change لو قلت لك هند بنت اسمها هند Hint, books, launch, hint, books, launch, hint, books, launch, every week or every Friday. Hint, books, launch, every Friday. Then, I will tell you who cooks lunch every Friday. It will really hint. Okay, طب I need to change the sentence into passive. عاوز اخليها passive الجملة دي. هي خلاص active. How to change? هند يعتبر من يا سارة؟ هي subject. Are you hear? Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Y